In this video, I'm going to show you how to find key features of rational functions, and I'm just going to use some of the examples on my screen um, from problems I already had written up, written down. Um, so a few things you need to know is um, how to find a vertical asymptote, a hole, and a horizontal asymptote. So I'm going to start with vertical asymptote. When you are looking at these problems, you're going to first see if you can factor, but there's nothing on the top that can be factored and there's nothing on the bottom that can be factored. So what you do once it's simplified, and this one is, is the vertical asymptote is just x equals whatever makes your denominator be zero. So just set it equal to zero and solve. And so my vertical asymptote is x equals 1.5. And it is always x equals because it has to be the equation of a line. A hole comes from a factor that cancels when you simplify. There is no hole because we did not cancel any factors. A horizontal asymptote comes from these rules. A lot of people use Bobo, Botno, Eats DC to help remember how to find these. And what this means is if the, if the degree is bigger on the bottom, B-O-B, -B, Bob, then the um, horizontal asymptote is zero. So here, your Bobo, bigger on the bottom, means the degree on the bottom is bigger than the degree on the top because we have x to the first power. We have no x on the top, so technically the degree is zero on the top. The bottom is a degree of one. So since it's bigger on the bottom, that means there's no, oh, sorry, there's z, the horizontal asymptote is zero. So we say y equals zero. The domain is everything but the asymptote or the whole, and there is no whole. So it's everything but the asymptote. So we'll say negative infinity to 1.5 union 1.5 to infinity. Now, this might still be like, what is going on? I don't understand. Just hang in there, we're gonna do some more examples. All right, so number two is a little bit of a better example because we have some work here that we can do. I need to start by factoring the denominator. I use the divide and slide method. I'll link that video. Um, but the way we do that is a times c, which is two times five, which is 10. We need it to add to equal b in the middle, which is 11. So one times 10, uh, gives me 11 in the middle and it at, multiplies to be 10 and then I put those factors in my parentheses and I'm going to divide them by a if I can if I can't simplify I slide that's why it's called divide and slide I divide by the a value I slide it into the front and if I can simplify I do and I get x plus 5 so my new denominator factored is 2x plus 1 times x plus 5 so when I go to simplify here, my numerators are going, or my numerator is going to cancel with the factor and the denominator, and so my simplified is one over two x plus one. All right, so what you do now, to find your vertical asymptote, you just set two x plus one equal to zero and solve for x. So x would be negative one half when you do that. So I just, I subtracted one, I divided by two. All right, my whole is the factor that canceled. What makes the factor that I get canceled be zero? And so this is the whole. And the whole comes from x plus five equals zero. So the x value of the whole is going to be negative five. To find the y value of the whole, you plug the x value into the simplified equation. The simplified equation is one over two x plus one. So you're gonna plug in x, which was negative five, into the x value of the, I'm plugging in this for the x value to find the y value. You plug it into the simplified version. So then this will end up being one over negative 10 plus one, which is negative one ninth. The horizontal asymptote comes from Bobo Botno eats DC, which again stands for bigger on the bottom at zero, bigger on the top, you don't have one, no, no horizontal asymptote. And eats DC stands for um, equal, 
What is the eats again? Hold on one second. I'm freezing up. Oh, exponents are the same. That's what it stands for. Exponents are the same. Divide coefficients. So, my horizontal asymptote this time, I'm still bigger on the bottom because there's a squared on the bottom. There's a one on the top, technically. And so, my horizontal asymptote is going to be zero. And now, the domain is everything but the x value of the whole and the vertical asymptote. It cannot be those x values because that's where the function is undefined. So I have negative infinity to negative 5, union negative 5 to negative 1 half because it picks back up between there, and then negative 1 half to infinity. I just go in order least to greatest there. So negative 5 and then negative 5 to negative 1 half and then negative 1 half to infinity. All right, let's do a different, a one with a different um, type of horizontal asymptote. So if I look at this one and I go to factor it, I'm going to take out a 2x on the top, leaving me with x plus 2 because 2x times x is 2x squared and 2x times 2 is 4x all over x plus 2, x minus 2 when I factor x squared minus 4. So now that I have factored, I am going to see if I have something that cancels and I do. So my new simplified function is 2x over x minus 2. The vertical asymptote comes from what makes your denominator be 0. So if I have x minus 2 is 0, then I know that x would equal 2 because 2 would make the denominator be 0. The whole tells us. Um, what is undefined from the factors that cancel. So there was an x plus 2 in the denominator. And so my whole is going to happen where x is negative 2. And so again, that's this. This is the whole. And so it's where x plus 2 equals 0. And so that means x would be negative 2. But we need the y value for the whole because the whole is a point. So you're going to do y is equal to 2 times negative 2 over negative 2 minus 2. I'm plugging into simplified to find y, okay? So 2 times negative 2 over negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4 over negative 4, which is 1. So that's the whole. The horizontal asymptote comes from Bobo, bigger on bottom is 0, Botno, bigger on top is no asymptote, and exponents are the same divide coefficients, which is each dc. Exponents are the same on the top and bottom. The degree is the same, I should say. Um, so then that we divide the coefficients. So that's 2 over 1. There's a 1 here. And so my horizontal asymptote is at 2. And my domain is everything but the vertical asymptote in the whole. So I have negative infinity until negative 2 union negative 2 to positive 2 union 2 to infinity. All right, let's do another example. All right, so let's do number 5 here. So for number 5, I have um, x squared minus 4x on the top. I'm going to pull out an x. That leaves me with an x minus 4 factored. And then x minus 4 on the bottom cannot be factored. It stays the same. From here, I see that the x minus 4s would cancel. That means the whole is going to be at x equals 4, right? Because um, 4, take away 4, be 0. It's what makes the, what cancels be 0. So I'm left with just x. This is my simplified. Oopsies. All right, and then I am going um, to plug into the simplified. So if the simplified f of x is just x, after I canceled the x minus 4s, then the whole is going to be at 4, 4, because you just plug the x value of the whole in, and it, the function is f of x equals x. 
The vertical asymptote is what would make the denominator be zero of the simplified function. If you no longer have a denominator, when you simplify, you don't have one. Horizontal asymptote. Remember we have Bobo, Botno, uh, each DC. So this time the degree on the top is bigger. It's a two, the bottom is a one. This is the Botno, bigger on top is none. And so we have no horizontal asymptote. And then domain is everything but the x value of the whole, so everything but four. All right, last example for this video. For number six, we have um, to factor this would be x minus six. Uh, no, it wouldn't be. My bad x minus 3, x plus 2 would multiply to be negative 6 at the end and would add to be negative 1 in the middle. The bottom factored would be, let's see, we would need a 4 and a 3. So x plus 4 and x minus 3 would multiply to be negative 12 and add to be 1 in the middle. Remember that sometimes the problem can help you do the problem. Like often there are common factors, not always, but often. So here's my common factor, x minus 3, x minus 3 canceled. That means the x value of the whole is going to be positive 3 because that's what would make x minus 3 equals 0, right? That would just be x equals 3. Now we need the simplified function. So we have f of x is equal to x plus 2 was left over on the top x plus 4 was left over on the bottom. So I'm going to find y of the whole by plugging x in to the simplified function. All right, so I plugged in 3 for x. 3 plus 2 on the top gives me 5. 3 plus 4 on the bottom gives me 7. The y value of the whole is 5 over 7. The vertical asymptote comes from what would make your denominator be zero, and so my vertical asymptote is going to be x equals negative four. The horizontal asymptote comes from uh, Bobo, Botno, HDC. These degrees are the same. So when it, um, exponents are the same, top and bottom, we divide coefficients. Their coefficients are ones. And so my horizontal asymptote is y equals 1. Now, one way I um, use the trick to remember vertical versus horizontal is that vertical asymptote is at x equals vax. Horizontal asymptote is a y equals line, and that's hey. So vax and hey spells those things. So that's how I remember which one is x and which one is y. All right, domain is everything but your vertical asymptote in your whole, so negative infinity until negative 4, union negative 4 to 3, union 3 to infinity. Hope this helps.